Being able to analyze surface bodies is necessary for creating high-quality surfaces whose curvature, smoothness, and transitions between adjacent surfaces meet the criteria for your project. To address this need, SOLIDWORKS offers a variety of tools that you can use alone or in tandem to assess your surfaces as you build them. I'd like to go over several of these tools in these next couple of lessons. It's common to have tangency applied between edges on your surface models due to tangent relations in your sketches, but at a glance, it's often difficult to tell them apart from non-tangent edges that may be close to tangency. If you'd like to adjust this, simply expand the View drop-down menu, followed by the Display flyout menu, and select Tangent Edges as Phantom. Now, all tangent edges will appear as phantom lines, which consist of solid lines interspersed with sections of dashed lines. This makes it easier to quickly differentiate tangent from non-tangent edges. You can even choose to change the setting to tangent edges removed, if you'd like to isolate all non-tangent edges in a model, which can be useful when you'd like to determine remaining areas to apply tangency. However, I'll switch this back to the phantom option for this example. Another tool related to edges is the Deviation Analysis tool, available from the Evaluate tab. This tool calculates the angle between faces and essentially measures how much an edge deviates from being tangent based on its angle. A value of zero is equal to tangency, and any larger value is recognized as a deviation. To see this tool in action, I'll activate it, select the edges I'd like to analyze, set the number of sample points, and when I click Calculate, colored arrows appear in the graphics area along the selected edges with flags that denote the maximum, minimum, and average deviation. Notice how the deviation along the far edge varies widely along the curve, while the deviation in the near edge remains homogeneous throughout. This is because of the tangency applied between the surfaces along this near edge, while the far edge has no tangency applied. The same effect on deviation being consistent is also seen with surfaces that are curvature continuous to one another. I'd like to point out that you can change the assigned arrow colors by editing the colors for the maximum and minimum deviation from the property manager and choosing from a series of basic colors or defining a custom color. I'll exit the color dialog and click OK to close the deviation analysis tool. As a final note, laminar edges, which are edges from unknit surface bodies, cannot be selected while using the deviation analysis tool. You can see this if I move the rollback bar in the feature tree before the middle surface is created. Activate the deviation analysis tool and try selecting an edge highlighted in blue. A tooltip indicates that the surface cannot be selected since there is no knitted adjacent face that it can measure an angle in relation to. In the next lesson, I'll review a series of tools that involve picking faces instead of edges to evaluate surface quality.